As a first-time author, the most exciting thing about Fordham University Press agreeing to publish my book, Boy with a Bullhorn, was, yay, someone's going to publish my book. But since my goal was to get the history of AIDS and AIDS activism into the hands of young people, into schools and colleges, as well as the larger canon of American history, having my book published by a university press gave it legitimacy. It said that, yes, this work and this history can be taken seriously, that it is a topic of importance, and that the book itself is worthy of being a resource for students and scholars for decades to come. And the fact that it's being published under Fordham's Empire State Editions imprint, which focuses on New York City stories, further establishes that this is not just a queer story, but part of the city's history and, by extension, the nation's. It was clear to me that whoever decided to publish my book would be taking it on as a passion project. I mean, this was not going to be the next John Grisham novel. Fordham understood that passion and treated both me and my book with great respect and let me tell the story in my own way and in my own voice. And look at the job they did, right? I mean, the cover really pops. And they managed to tame a lengthy, relentlessly footnoted and copiously sourced book into something that still looks inviting and feels readable. So thank you, Fordham University Press, and thank you, University Press. Hi. I'm Hannah McGregor, author of the newly released Wilfrid Laurier University Press book, A Sentimental Education. And I'm here to talk a little bit about the value of collaborating with university presses. You know, A Sentimental Education might be my first book published with Wilfrid Laurier University Press, but it's far from the beginning of our collaboration. In fact, I've been collaborating with them for years now on the project of developing scholarly podcasts. And so I can speak with a lot of authority, I think, about the deep commitment that this press in particular and university presses in general have to collaborating with scholars on transforming scholarly communication. The experience of working on a sentimental education was a deeply pleasurable experience of working with a team of experts in what they do, expert developmental editors and copy editors and designers and marketers who knew how to help me get the book into the form I most wanted it to be and then get the book out to the people I wanted the book to be for. And more than anything else, the team at Wilfrid Laurier University Press constantly pushed me to think in more radical and exciting and experimental ways about what a scholarly book could be and what was possible for me to do as a writer. I'm really excited to continue collaborating with the press in the future, and I'm excited for the role that university presses are going to continue to play in the transformation of scholarly communication going forward. I felt free for it to take as long as it needed to take, and I think that's been one of the true, true gifts of working with an academic press, with UNC Press specifically. There's not a sense of pressure around when the highest quality work needs to be produced. I'm just grateful, so grateful, that, that I was working with a set of people who understood why it mattered, why, why writing a book for your ancestors would be something that was worth publishing, that other people would want to read. One of my readers, you could see, had gone over the manuscript twice, like one time fully in a like a plain pencil and another time fully in a red pencil. And so it freaked me out when I got it, of course. I, I put it on my dining room table and just sort of left it there for a couple days while I was like <sighs> But um, then when I picked it up, it, it, was, it was a beauty to, to see someone put the care and time into really being in conversation with me about how I wanted to say things and how I wanted to phrase things and how I wanted um, the, the, the story to move forward. Hi, my name's Amy Sue, and my manuscript was chosen in 2020 by Akron University's Poetry Prize. And I just wanted to say that I feel really grateful for university presses. Um, because it would be so hard to break into 
the poetry world without poetry prizes through um, smaller university presses. I was able to work with Akron's um, press for my book and I just felt really heard by them the entire time. I was able to get the exact cover that I wanted and cover art and it felt like my vision for what I wanted my first book to be like, which was obviously really important to me, was also really important to them. Um, so I feel really grateful to them and for all small university presses uh, for the opportunity that my work got seen by the world through them. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Cooley. I'm a history professor at Hamilton College. Over the last few years, I worked closely with an amazing editorial team at the University of Chicago Press as they brought my first book from draft to published. My book, The Perfection of Nature, Animals, Breeding, and Race in the Renaissance, unearths new documents that shows a long history of eugenic practices that stretches back all the way to the age of Leonardo da Vinci. What has it meant? to be a first-time author working with a university press? Well, for me, it has meant entrusting years of thinking, travel, and conversations to a team as committed to the vision as I was. It has meant knowing that the editors can see the potential in your project. It's meant transitioning an audience from writing to your field to writing to a wider public of readers. Working with the University of Chicago Press has helped me launch my career as a scholar. Even more importantly though, it has taken a little known story about how animal breeding contributed to the modern history of race and made that history accessible to the world. Thanks Chicago.